Our first play being performed tonight is Within a Vine, written by Simon Martinez Herrera, Anna Powell, and Anna Graham. It started on a wooden trellis where all the lovely grapes lived. The little ones get bigger, their bellies get fuller, and there sat a little grape chatting up a storm. He bugged and bugged his neighbors whenever he was bored, which was all the time. Guys, guys, I grew a little. I feel full of life and fit as a fiddle. Why are you yelling? And why are you rhyming? I don't know. Will you two pipe down, or I'll pick you off the vine myself? Oh, yeah. You guys are morons. As the great speaker. Where did you come from? How rude. But if you must know, I've been here for many months before any of you arrived. I've been sleeping no less than a few inches from an old grave. Come on, you can fix, mister. Oh, because nobody can see me. I asked the others before you for help as well, and I called very loudly, but they just didn't hear me. Yeah, that's it. All I've ever wanted is to be baked into the loveliest grape pie. That's gross. <laughs> well, what, what do you want to be when you get picked, knucklehead? I'm going to be the loveliest wine anyone has ever tasted. <laughs> Please, with an attitude like yours, you'll be lucky if they don't spit you out right away. Oh, yeah? And what's your plan then, huh? I'm going to be a fruit basket model for painters. <laughs> I think you're both going to do awesome. Oh, and what's your plan for life, eh, squirt? To be awesome! That plan is highly illogical and ridiculous. Leave the kid alone. Oh, that's so sweet. Shut up. <laughs> Look, there's someone coming this way! Quick, fellas, pull me out, please! Let me be picked at last! Ah. And pull they did. They pulled and pulled till he fit through the vines that had trapped him since the day the old grapes sprouted. You. You actually helped me. Thank you, gents. I'll never forget this. You're welcome. Yeah, at least some of us actually care to help. If you would have known, I literally can't even reach him, you eggplant. Oh, here they come. He had awaited this day. He wanted nothing more. He'd be tasty and yummy again. Ah! And all over the floor. Gross. I don't want to be picked up. And so the grapes moved on to become what they had dreamed. But the little one remained on the vine alone, it seemed. His skin would fold in time, and the vines messy and tangled, until new grapes began to grow. And now he tells the 